My name is Joshua Stein. We are at the School of the Art Institute in Chicago right now, and this is Discard Archive, an installation based on approximately six or seven years of unfolding research into the metropolis and who has access to the metropolis, particularly through public transit and infrastructure. These are basically molds that were used to produce 13 different ceramic chunks that create a landscape for the city of Buffalo that explains how long it takes to move through the city on public transportation. I call this an isochronic mountain, this landscape of time. And that comes from this idea of isochronic mapping. These maps basically make rings that are separated by equal segments of time. If you draw a line on a map or a circle on a map that determines how long it takes for you to move through the city, you can imagine it's maybe something like this big in five minutes. And if you had 10 minutes, maybe you could walk this far. And if you had 15 minutes, maybe you could walk this far. If you got on a bike, if you got on a bus and you headed in one direction, that might start to change and it's no longer a circle anymore. And if you had a network of buses, that map of simple concentric circles starts to become quite complex. If you were to imagine what that would look like three-dimensionally, that's what we have when I talk about an isochronic mountain. And some of what's on the other side of the exhibition space are a series of earlier studies on isochronic mountains. I started in Sao Paulo. I was on a residency in Sao Paulo, Brazil, which we're trying to understand what it would mean to pick one point in the city and then see how long it would take to get there by public transit, to get to the peak of the mountain, which in this case, the destination point was Buffalo City Hall. That is isochronic mountain Buffalo. After completing that project, I realized that I had these amazing molds, these plaster molds, which captured all of this information. And they were also, I believed, beautiful sculptures in and of their own right. But then also from an earlier research project, I remembered that there's this history of plaster casts that have been used inside of museums for hundreds of years. People going to Southern Europe, going to Italy, going to Greece, and making casts of these statuary and then bringing those plaster casts back up to Northern Europe and exhibiting them, painting them so that they looked like the original bronze statues. The opportunity here inside the hallway gallery was to show each one of these as if they were their own sculptural object, their own sculptural monument almost, just to form, to data, to landscape, without necessarily being held accountable to the landscape of Buffalo. So there's all of these steps that are involved in this process. The public won't necessarily know each one of those steps. But I do think that maybe in observing and coming up close and looking at this, you can find traces of any one of those different steps in the process. I tend to move back and forth between trying to think at the scale of just material and material process and then also trying to be much more speculative in, in terms of what that research and what that knowledge and lessons gained would mean for rethinking the future of our city, of the way we situate ourselves in the world we exist in at the moment. This project was mostly interested in what it means to move through the city by public transit because I think that starts to reveal for us who has access to the city. Although cities have grown over time, public transit systems have been defunded. So the city has become less and less accessible to its citizens by transit. And I think representing that information as mountains also helps us think about things in terms of erosion. We could start to imagine transit valleys, areas of the city that become deeply removed from downtown, not because of distance, but because of access through transit. What does it mean to kind of start to ignore or wall off certain parts of the city from another. There's hints of that, of the research and the process that are somehow embodied and embedded in these 13 objects behind me.